Now, WGEM Sports with David Sugarman. They say a great story has to have peaks and valleys, but up to this point, the Quincy Notre Dame girls basketball team has had their highs well outweigh their lows. After putting a bow on a 22-3 regular season with a 68-30 win over Winchester West Central last night, the Raiders now have all of their focus turned to the postseason. Last night, seven seniors played in the pit for the final time and did not disappoint. QND season also marks the first 20 plus win year since 2013 and they wrap the 20 the season with three straight double digit wins with the Rushville Regional tipping off this week. Quincy Notre Dame will play Tuesday against the winner of Central Southeastern and Macomb and the momentum from the way they played specifically over the last week can't be overstated with every game from here on out having the potential to be their last. This thing says a lot about our seniors. Um, and, you know, as freshmen, they came in, we weren't winning 20 games. Um, they persevered, they believed in the process, and, and tonight was a good celebration of them. And for us to finish strong and head into the postseason on a good note, I think it's incredibly important because it helps our confidence. Last year's run for the Raiders came up short in the regional semifinals when they were upset by Illini West. And with so many girls from that team back, that game has stuck with them. And the Raiders have learned the importance of not plateauing, but continuing to improve when the postseason rolls around. Moving to Illini West definitely put something in our heart. And I just think we're really just going to work hard every day at practice and just really continue to push ourselves, push our teammates. And I just think that will help us definitely in postseason. I think we need to be more disciplined on defense and really work on getting offensive and defensive rebounds to really help us get more confident for the offensive side. A good luck to the Raiders this week. Uh, uh, today, some college softball action. The John Wood softball team played two games. They split a pair. They beat Iowa Western 6-4, lost to the 8th ranked Indian Hills Community College team 3-1. And at the Rambler Rumble in Rosemont, Illinois, Western Illinois gets blanked by Butler 8-zip. 